Welcome. In this tutorial, we will show you how to set up a front-end dashboard using the Ocean WP theme. To make it easier for you, we have created several dashboard templates that you can download from the link in the description of the video. Once you download the dashboard template, you need to make sure you have the WP Frontend Admin plugin installed on your multi-site network. Also, you need to install and activate the Ocean WP theme and the Ocean Extra plugin on your dashboard site. Besides, you need to install the WP Menu Icons plugin to add icons to your menu items. Finally, install the Shortcode and Menus plugin to add the View User Site and Logout buttons to your dashboard menu. Links to all these plugins are provided in the description of the video. Once you have installed and activated all the necessary plugins in the theme, you need to import the template. Go to the Import and Export settings of Ocean Extra and import the template from your computer. You'll see a success message once the template has been imported. Now you need to select the dashboard logo if the template you downloaded requires it. Go to the customizer of Ocean WP. Now head to the header settings and select the dashboard site logo. You need to create a new navigation menu, where we'll display the front-end dashboard pages later on. Just enter the menu name and hit Create Menu. It will be empty by now, but we'll add the dashboard pages later on. Now you're ready to create the front-end dashboard pages. As an example, we'll show you how to display the posts admin page on the front-end. Let's create a new page. Enter the page title and then enter the WP Frontend Admin shortcode. Make sure the post's admin page is between the quotations and the shortcode. Now click Preview to see the admin content on the front end. As you see, the side menu is empty because we haven't added any pages to it. Besides, it is covering the WP Frontend Admin Quick Settings panel, so we need to move it temporarily to the right side of our screen. Go back to WP Admin, and open the customizer. Now go to Header, General, and change the header position from left to right. If you reload the front-end page preview, you'll see the side menu on the right side, and the WP front-end admin settings on the left. You can start by selecting the page title and URL slug. It will probably be inherited from the backend page settings, but you can change it if you want. Now select the default template. You can select the menu you created some minutes ago to add this page to the dashboard menu. WP Frontend Admin allows you to simplify the dashboard pages by hiding any unnecessary elements easily. Just hit Hide Element and then click the element you want to hide. You can repeat this with all the elements you want to hide. Also, you can hide notices added by other plugins or themes by ticking this checkbox. If you want, you can also change the front-end page texts. If your page lists posts or any other post type, you can hide any unnecessary columns by selecting the columns in the Disabled Columns section. If you're using the WP Ultimo plugin to manage memberships on your multi-site network, you can restrict dashboard pages based on the user's WP Ultimo plan. Tick the plan that will have access to the page, or leave this section empty to make the page available to all plans. Also, you can show the user's own posts only, or the posts created by other users of the same site. Once you're done, you can click Save to apply the changes to this page and publish it. As you see, the page was successfully added to the dashboard menu. Now you can continue configuring your post page by editing the Add New Post form on the front end. You can hide any non-essential elements. Those elements your users won't need at all to create their posts. As you see, the Add New Post form looks really simplified and clean. Now just save changes. If you open an existing post, you'll see that the same changes were applied to the edit post form. 
This is how you can create all the front end pages. You can continue creating the pages by yourself because it's just a matter of adding the shortcode in the page content with the URL of the admin page you want to display on the front end between the quotations. Then click preview and configure the page using the quick settings panel. Now let's learn how to add icons to your menu items to make your dashboard menu look more intuitive and beautiful. Just open the icon settings of your menu items and select the icon. If your dashboard design requires icons without labels, you can hide the items label here. You need to do the same with all the menu items. Once you've added icons to all your menu items, you need to add the view user site and log out buttons to the menu. For this, create a new custom link and add the view user site shortcode as a new menu item. We'll set this button to open in a new tab. Now just select the icon for this item. Let's add the logout shortcode. And select the icon for this item. Finally, you just need to save changes for the dashboard menu. Now we need to change the position of the dashboard menu from the right to the left. This is how your front-end admin dashboard will look once it's finished. The view user site button will send the users to their own site. Also, the logout button will finish the session. In the description of this video, we've left a video where you can learn how to create a custom login page with Elementor. Remember that you can change the colors and everything you want on your dashboard templates using the Ocean WP themes customizer. You can download the front-end dashboard templates for Ocean WP using the link in the description of this video.